Okay, on this next video, I want to show you how to manage your groups a little bit differently. Uh, we added a group in a previous video where we made our subtotals. So uh, just to review what we did, let me go to another report here. Let's say on this particular report, we want all of the items from the same customer to be together. So um, we're going to group on the customer ID. That's one reason to add a group, and then another reason to add a group is to do subtotals. But let, let's uh, let's go into the group expert, and then uh, so if we want all the items for the customer ID to be together, we're going to group on customer ID. I'm going to double click on that. Now you could have more than one uh, group. Uh, let's say in your company you like to do it by region and then by district and then by manager within that district. If you wanted subtotals on all three of those levels, then you would group on all three of those levels. So you certainly could have more than one group. Notice over here it says A. A is for A sending. So th to change your sort order of the group, you're going to click on the group, you're going to pick on options, and then notice over here it says A sending order. You're going to click on that pull down. We can also make it descending, of course. Specified order means you can pick your own order. So um, let's say you have a special ranking that has nothing to do with alphabetical. So this way you can pick your own order. When you do that, you do have to pick your own order one by one, but at least you give it a fle uh, flexibility to do that. And then there's one that's called in the original order, which is the same order that appears in the actual table. So we're going to make those uh, ascending. We're going to click on OK. Now, uh, once we once we um, got into the group expert, we picked on options so we could change the sort uh, the sort preference. I'm going to click on OK here. The way we got to the uh, group expert was this guy over here, the uh, the icon that's called the group expert. Watch what that did to our report just by adding the group. So, at the top of each customer or our group, we have the group header. Now the group header also includes the group name. You can you can delete that or, or change that if you wanted to, but that as a default it puts the group name in the group header. Notice at the bottom of each group you have a group footer. Now the group footer is where we would put subtotals. Uh, there's another video about how to make the subtotals, but right now the group footer is empty. Uh, but notice what what I, the group did for us just just by doing that it, it, it gives us really nice sections in our report it makes the report a lot easier to read as we can see uh, because each group has a group header and group footer so the effect is that now you have nice sections of data uh, that, that makes it a lot easier to read as we can see let me show you ways you can manage your group let me go back to page one here now notice on page one, I have this group that's called AlphKI, and then Anatar, uh, Anton, Arout, and then Burks, and then notice how Blouse is over here. Let's go to page two, and at the top of page two, notice how Blouse continues. But notice how the header did not reprint on uh, the second page. So a lot of times when the group overlaps to the next page, you want to be able to reprint the header. Let me show you how you do that. You're going to go back into the group expert. You're going to pick on your group and then click on uh, options. You're going to pick on options again and then down here, this one that says repeat group header on each page. That means if the group does overlap to the next page, it's going to reprint the header for you. I'm going to click on OK. The way I got to that once again was the options under the group expert. I'm going to click on OK. Now notice how we're on page 2, and now notice how the blouse header is there. It, it reprinted. Let's see if it's still on page 1. Let me go back to page 1. And if I go to the bottom of the page, you can see Blouse is there. So it really did reprint that header uh, when it overlapped to the next page. The next thing that somebody's going to ask you for is, well, is there a way that we can keep Blouse together on the same page? And the answer is yes. Uh, or uh, I should say usually it's yes. Sometimes a group has too many records and it's going to overlap to the next page no matter what you do just because there's just you know too many physical records but we're saying if it's possible can we keep that together on the same page the answer is yes we're going to go back into the group expert we're going to pick on the group now we're going to pick on options 
We're going to pick on options again. And now there's one that says keep group together. So if it's possible, keep that group together on the same page. That's exactly what that means. Let's click on OK. Now let's click on OK again. And that, again, that was the options for the group expert, which is over here. So watch what happened this time. Now we're on page one. On page one, we have Alf Ki, Anatar, Anton, Arout, Burks. Notice how uh, the group that we were looking at is no longer on page one. There's just a blank space where it used to be. However, now if I go to page two, notice how Blouse is there in the full group is now on page two. So it kept it together, uh, if you will. Sometimes I wish my life would have a button that said keep it together, right? But here we were able to keep the, uh, the group together. Now another thing that people are going to ask you for, let's say you actually wanted to have each group on their own separate page. Now uh, where you do that at is going to actually be the section expert. There's going to be a whole other video about the section expert, but this is a quick use for the section expert. So in this case, I'm going to pick on the report menu, and then we do have one that's called the section expert. Notice how um, you have your different sections over here. The report header, the page header, the details, and the page footer, and the report footer, they all come with a report. Each report is going to have those. But because this report also has a group, then we have a group header and a group footer. Uh, those can be managed independently. So there'll be a whole another video about the actual sections, and there's going to be a whole another video about the section expert. You can check those out. But watch how I'm going to make the page break between the groups. We're going to pick on the group footer. We're going to pick on the paging tab. And we're going to find one that's called new page after. Basically, that's a page break after each group. Now, in previous versions, by the way, uh, there wasn't really a paging tab. Uh, the new page after was under the common tab, but it still did exist. New page after the group footer. So I'm going to click on OK. By the way, notice also, uh, notice also there's a new page before. Maybe I would put the new page before the group header. All right, but I'm putting a new page after the group footer. I'm going to click on OK. Now let's go back to page 1. Page 1 now only has AFKI. As you can see, there's nothing else on that page. When I go to the next page, now the next page only has Anatar. So if you think about it, here's the group footer. It's doing a new page after each group footer, and that's why each group is on its own separate page. And you're going to see that throughout the entire report. Now, uh, that, I'm sure that added more physical pages to the report, but if that's the way they want to see it, then that's the way they want to see it. Okay, so you always try to give the report uh, to the people in the way they want to see it. So that's how we can manage the group. So we're going to use the group expert to create and manage the group using the options. And then once we have the group, we have these additional sections, the group header and the group footer, to manage those and to make your page breaks. In that case, we went up to the group expert. Uh, I'm sorry, we went up to the section expert. Then we picked in the group footer section. We picked on uh, the paging tab, and we said new page after. So that should give you some ideas on how to create and manage your groups within Crystal.